At this hour, some possible answers why a ferry filled with high school's children sank to the mm. bottom of the Yellow Sea. A lawmaker in South Korea says the boat was renovated last year so that it could carry about 120 more passengers. The suggestion is that the expansion made the ferry top heavy, throwing off its center of gravity and making it vulnerable to sinking. Now, prosecutors have not yet verified that theory, but they are investigating the company that inspected the vessel. Claus Luta is a master deep ocean ship captain and a maritime attorney. So, Claus, do you think that this renovation may have played a role? Well, it's possible that it played a role. Uh, these superstructure modifications definitely affect the outcome of the stability of the vessel, but they're typically conducted under the auspices of a classification society, naval architects, and the like. So they're closely monitored, um, and it's likely that uh, it, it didn't have a direct impact on the outcome of this incident. However, as a ship's master or a chief officer when you're loading the ship, uh, considering that perhaps it's a little bit more top heavy, you have to somehow counteract that. And the easiest solution would be to load water into the lower ballast tanks. Now, when you do that, it increases the, the depth of the vessel, the draft of the ship. And considering that this ferry was potentially overloaded. There have been some theories about that. It hasn't been verified yet, but uh, with an increased draft, you would have to release some of that ballast and it would, it would decrease the stability of the ship, particularly in that narrow channel. So let's talk about the weight. As you mentioned, there's no evidence that the boat was too heavy, but even if a boat is under its load uh, capacity, a shift in the weight of the cargo really could be a problem still, could it not? Yeah, it could be a complete disaster. You have to ensure that anything that's loaded on board that vessel is secured down to the deck properly. Um, there has been some anecdotal evidence that perhaps some of the cargo aboard this ferry wasn't secured properly. And as soon as you encounter a, a, a compromised stability, the ship lifts over, that cargo will immediately slide, not to mention some of the water in the ballast tanks. And it's like a mm -hmm. pendulum swinging to one side. Yeah, and that makes it very dangerous, it's like a rocking chair. I, I've heard you use that analogy that, that probably goes over too far one last time, and, and, and this is what happens. You also think there could be a mechanical issue at play here. Well, it, it's been submitted that the master of the vessel two weeks prior to the incident had requested that a repair be conducted on the steering gear of the ship. And that's a critical repair that needs to be immediately addressed. Now, <clears throat> the word out there is that it wasn't addressed. The company did not do anything about it. And I can tell you as a deck officer traveling this part of the world frequently, um, it, it's critical that the steering functions properly mm -hmm. and, uh, and the company should have addressed that immediately. Obviously, there's lessons that can be learned uh, the world over here in the United States. We certainly have our share of ferries operating out of various ports uh, around uh, the, the states. What can be learned for us here? Well, it, what can be learned is that these types of incidents can occur anywhere in the world at any time. And the advantage we have here is that we have very highly trained American officers aboard many of these vessels. The cruise ships that ply our coasts don't necessarily do that. We have American cruise ship companies that use the benefit of cheaper foreign labor so that if an incident like this does occur, occur uh, we're not assured that there's an American officer aboard managing the incident and making sure people reach safety. So that could be a concern, um, but overall, it's a possibility anywhere. Lessons important to be learned, of course. Klaus Lute, thank you so much. We, of course, will be following this story throughout the day and throughout the week here at CN. Really appreciate you being here.